So one of the questions I get asked a lot about is uh, OneNote and writing in OneNote and you have to take notes and then converting it to text. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over the differences between OneNote 2016 and OneNote, the app. There are some uh, minor differences in using the drawing function. So we're going to start with the app because uh, honestly, it's a little bit simpler. And for a lot of people, it's a great place to start. As you can see, there are not very many tabs across the top. And so it's very simplified. You'll go to the Draw tab, and then um, you'll see the different options here. You can actually, um, there's some fun pens here. So there's actually um, a rainbow pen. There's a galaxy pen. There's, um, there's actually some wood grains. Right, so you can actually, I guess, I suppose that's gold. But um, there's some glitter pens, and that that can actually be really quite fun to uh, draw with or take, uh, you know, scribbles with. So have fun with that. Uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to use the regular pen, black. Uh, you can also add pens here, uh, pencils and highlighters. And uh, the difference between a highlighter and a pen is a highlighter is semi-transparent, so it allows you to highlight over text. So with the pen, I'm going to go ahead and just draw out a word. And as you can see, it is fairly um, messy. And I can then take that word, select it, and do ink to text. Now, if it was a little bit less messy, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my pen. If it was a little bit less messy, the computer would should actually um, register that that is text and just do it for me. But because my handwriting is atrocious, I actually have to hit the ink to text. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it, it's not perfect, but it's... Uh, it does function quite well considering how sloppy my handwriting is. The other options that are available in the app, uh, one particular that, that is definitely easier to use in the app than the program is the ink to shape. So if you toggle this on, you can actually uh, draw shapes and it will clean those shapes up for you. So even if you can't draw well, um, you could then make better drawings uh, and position those. The other thing that you can do is uh, actually do front to back, right? So there's definitely some options here. So if I were to do a square and another square, it does like you to connect the edges on this. Um, you can actually move one uh, Backwards, forwards, um, if those were different colors, it'd be more obvious. I'm going to go ahead and erase all that. Because I have the eraser set uh, to stroke eraser, it erases the whole thing. If I did want to, I could put it on just a regular eraser, and then it would just do part, part of this. So if you can see the difference there um, between stroke eraser where it erases the entire stroke and the size eraser. So I'm going to go back to my pen, and I'm going to show you the ruler. So the ruler, you move with your fingers in the app, um, one or two fingers. You choose your degrees, and then you just draw along the edge of it. It's not perfect along the edge. Uh, if I go out here, I won't drop it. If I go anywhere close to it, you'll see how uh, it traces the edge there and makes a nice straight line. That could be useful. And turn that off. Um, I also want you to notice that I do have horizontal lines here that look like note paper. The way you add that is by going to View, Rule Lines, and then choosing your lines. You can also change this into graph paper if you so chose by choosing the graph paper option. So I'm going to go back to draw, and quickly I'm going to show you the math function. So if I do two plus five x. Um, equals y squared, and then choose my selector, 
I want to make sure I get the entire math equation in here, and then I'm going to choose math. I want to make sure that this is correct, so it's not. This is actually 5. Let's see here, fix it. So this is actually 5. So 2 plus 5x equals y squared, and then I'm going to equate that to math. So what I could do is I could go in here and write a bunch of equations and then individually ink those to math. Now I can actually solve for this, okay? And I can also do this, um, actually solve it, and it will show me the steps. The great thing about this is you could actually use this to either learn math or to teach someone math. So you can make a math worksheet. You can uh, drag the steps to the page and have that available for later use for yourself or someone else. I can also graph this. Let's say I want this and I oh, say I want the steps here. And instead I wanted to graph this page. Haywire. Um, so I could insert this onto the page and then have that graph there. You can also uh, refresh this. You can zoom out. There are settings. So um, you can also choose your math settings. And this works very, very well in the app. This does not work this in the actual program. I'm going to show you that now. So from Start menu, then for the program, OneNote 2016, which is a more robust program. You'll see there's definitely a lot more options at the top, and you can do many more things with the actual program than you can with the app. However, uh, for a lot of people, the drawing is actually in the app. So as you can see, there are um, a lot of a lot more options for the pens. However, you can not do glitter pens, which is kind of sad. I wish they'd add that. Um, the eraser, you again have the stroke eraser and the different sizes. Your selector, uh, you, this is also how you go to typing. Um, you can do color and thickness and shapes. The shape drawing does not uh, work well, but it does have graph drawing here, which is nice. Uh, still has the arrangements and the ink to text. So as you can see, I can uh, I can select my pen here and still write. And do my selector, and it's actually mad at me, so it's not going to recognize that that's writing. But if I write a little bit neater. It will. Um, some things that you can do to increase the accuracy is to train your device to read your handwriting. I have not done that on this device yet, but intend to do so. Um, you can use this to take like meeting notes. If you are a faster more typer. And as you can see, that one, uh, even though it was still quite sloppy, picked it up. Uh, the math in this one. Let me go back to my stroke eraser. I prefer that one. Um, the math in this one will not solve. Okay, but you can do it math. So if you write it out first, you then need to select it and hit ink to math. And as you can see, I can then do that. And then um, if I first hit ink to math, I just do my equation in here. So, and then insert that directly. So either way works, either writing it first and then doing ink to math or just simply click, clicking ink to math. Um, but as you can see, there is no way to solve this then. Um, 
and you can choose either professional or linear. So whichever way is easier for you, uh, if you had a large equation and wanted to do that. Um, uh, something like this. Right. Um, we're just going to insert that and then the difference between linear and professional. So those are the drawing options in OneNote. Um, have fun and good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and uh, feel free to like and follow. I appreciate it.